Have you ever met someone who just cannot seem to apologize? They just cannot. For some reason, they just refuse to say they are sorry. This is frustrating when clearly they need to right the wrong that they have caused. Can they not see the damage that they have done? Can they not see their error? Are they really so blind? Or are they just playing games? Are they really so inept to see the value of your worth and the relationship that they have with you? Now, we all have failed to give someone that muchly needed apology. It happens. Doesn't mean it's right, but we do fail to apologize when needed and oftentimes it's because in the moment we are so heated ourselves that we cannot place ourselves in the other person's shoes and see from the situation from their perspective. Another reason is that we might believe our apology won't mean much to them so why bother? I personally think the second reason is just a sorry excuse that maybe some of us tell ourselves so that we can avoid the guilt and shame of not offering an apology in the first place. But that's just my opinion. So sidestepping my personal opinion and staying true to fact, there are people who just cannot bring themselves to apologize no matter what you do or say. Taking the initiative to apologize first will not even move them to offer a weak I'm sorry. <sighs> What's up with these people? Like seriously, what makes them so special that they don't have to right their wrongs with an apology? Well, to offer an apology means an admission of wrongdoing. To make the apology meaningful, one has to follow up with changed behavior and do their best not to repeat the offense again. When someone you know, <clears throat> the narcissist, refuses to apologize when clearly they are in the wrong, why can't they? Seriously, it's clearly not you, it's clearly not me. We're not imagining things and taking things way too much to heart, are we? Right? Right? No. It's not you, it's not us. You know when you have been wronged and you are entitled to feel your feelings. Your hurt feelings are not imagined, my friend. I'll let you in on a little hidden mystery, a secret, if you will. Admitting wrongdoing for the narcissist is a threat to their inner being. They think that they are better than you by not offering that apology. When in reality, offering an apology is a sign of strength, not a sign of weakness. However, to the narcissist, it's the opposite. If you offer an apology to the narcissist, they see you as weak. To offer an apology is to imply that they, the narcissist, has made an error in some way. And this they cannot admit and they believe that they are flawless after all. <laughs> Don't believe me? Here's a secret to know if you are dealing with the narcissist or not. Just ask them this question. What is it in you that you think you need to change? That question always gets them confused. They get hung up on this question and will become agitated in their confusion. They may even get mad at you for asking such a stupid question. It's in fact a brave one. It's a mature one. And it's the right one to ask. The narcissist does not feel like they need to change. If they do, they will never verbalize it. To offer you an apology implies that they have to change because they are wrong in their judgment. Therefore, they cannot apologize to you because they would have to face feelings that we all face and those are feelings of shame this is something within them that they do not have 
Shame is defined as a feeling of guilt, regret, or sadness within yourself because you know you have done something wrong. Shame can also be described as having feelings of embarrassment or dishonor or disgrace. A narcissist cannot feel guilt or regret like you or I do. They cannot admit doing wrong because what they do is normal behavior for them. If you feel sad about what they did to them, that's your problem and it has nothing to do with them. It is literally not in them to feel remorse or shame for you or for themselves that would elicit them to break down and offer you an apology. If you have feelings that are brought on by with what they say or did, well, then you need to get a hold of your anger issues. Sorry, that's just the way they think. A narcissist cannot share in those feelings with you in any way. They do not feel the feelings that you or I do with the same governing qualities behind them. That's love. To apologize sincerely means to care about the person you've wronged. Individuals who cannot apologize have deep-seated feelings of unworthiness. They cannot make themselves look bad in any way, as apologies are a sign of weakness to them. The narcissist believes they are above giving an apology. If you demand one, then you are beneath them. Not giving an apology, not giving you an apology is necessary. If they do give you one, then they lose control over you and over themselves. And if they do give you one, I've had the witness of a covert narcissist or a malignant narcissist um, give one to me and it was a conditional one. If you apologize to me, then I will apologize to you. And I wouldn't have done this to you if you wouldn't have said that. And it was just a roundabout way of negating my feelings and giving them all the license and reason in the world to act the way they did. It was a reason for them not to take full responsibility for the wrong things that they said and did to me. So that's just something to keep in mind because sometimes narcissists do apologize, but it's with motive. As I've said before, someone who apologizes to you, it should be a sincere apology. And normally we do give sincere apologies when we know that we have wronged somebody because we don't want to hurt them. The narcissist, however, has to stay in control of themselves at all times, at all costs. Now I share this deep-seated need for control and the deeper and interesting perspectives of this type of control. In lecture two of my Udemy course, I'll post a link in the description of this video, so please be sure to check out the course outline and let me know what you think on Udemy. The narcissist's ego is so fragile that offering an apology is beneath them. I can't stress this enough. They think in literal terms. They can't think in metaphorical terms. They actually believe that offering an apology makes them weak and makes them lower than you. They are people who have to maintain control and in their minds they are like gods and godlike and gods do not need to apologize to anyone do they? Yes I'm serious about this this is no joke the characteristics of a narcissist especially a malignant one are like that of a dictator and have you ever seen a dictator apologize to the people? No. Now, many people I've heard in the Christian communities have said that if Hitler asked God for forgiveness, God would forgive him. Well, Hitler would never apologize. Dictators are not made with empathy and cannot do what loving human beings do. They act outside the scope of what a loving human being is. Hitler, Stalin, Miao say. Dung. I know this is a play on words. I'm just being facetious here. Just look up Chairman Mao. He was a Chinese dictator. All these dictators never apologized for their crimes against humanity. Never.
They went to death standing in their pride. A narcissist will too. The more you ask for an apology, the more tyrannical the narcissist becomes. At times you may come across a narcissist who does seemingly apologize, aside from the covert narcissist. These are the overt narcissists, the vulnerable types. They may offer an apology in attempts to get you to forget their wrongdoing and to ease your mood to make you feel better, but not for you, for them. They use an apology as a means of manipulation to judge your mood in order that they can regulate their mood as they want to carry on with you as if nothing between the two of you have ever happened. It's like wiping the slate clean. These apologies may follow with blame shifting and excuse making where the vulnerable narcissist blames others and circumstances to give a reason why they did what they did. They deny the facts. They negate your feelings and appear to take responsibility for the wrong, but they're not sorry. They are just going through the motions in attempts to relieve their anxiety and stressful situations that they are going through in the moment with you. They use an apology as a brief coping mechanism to relieve themselves of inner tension. And they may even find a way to appease that inner tension by blaming other people who are not even there in the room with you and cannot even defend themselves. This is all in attempts to get away from truly apologizing to you. These are mechanisms to gain their own self-empowerment back and it has nothing to do with you. When a true apology is given, the individual who is in the wrong sees the situation from a perspective that involves you, as the situation is about you, and they keep it about you. That is why you require an apology, after all, because you are wronged, you are offended. Well, the narcissist cannot have this perspective as they see you as an extension of themselves. They make the situation about them instead of you. Because in their reality, all that matters is keeping themselves in a position of control. The narcissist who offers no apology is often thought of, from the public point of view, tough as nails. They seem to be strong in their resolve and are often admired by onlookers. As they take no bullshit from anyone. They don't back down. They are the rebellious types that us young girls find attractive as they are the bad boys of society. To admit when we are wrong and to have the inner strength to apologize is considered by psychologists to be emotionally uncomfortable. However, to take responsibility means that while we are uncomfortable, we are not willing to allow anyone to suffer as we understand what they might be suffering. To right the wrongs and admit that we are wrong suggests that we are inwardly strong and have the strength within our self-esteem to take that emotional hit. To allow ourselves to eat crow, so to speak, and become humble. We are strong enough that humility will not cripple us. It just makes us better. The more one is right in their stance to not apologize, the more it is said that they have a more fragile ego. As standing strong without offering an apology is a protective stance so that the fragility of the ego will not be seen and felt by anyone, let alone the one who refuses to apologize. To offer an apology means to self-reflect in some way. Now, if you force someone who refuses to offer an apology and they do apologize, well, in the narcissistic mind, it just means that you have control over them. They will never allow you to have control over them. This is something that will never happen, point blank. The narcissist assumes at all times 
whether they are right or wrong, you are beneath them. So what can you do when you are looking for an apology and it is clear that you will never get one? As much as you want to give yourself over to anger, please don't. It may, it may help you to express yourself in front of that person and show that person how really upset and frustrated you really are, thinking that they might empathize with you and possibly they might humble themselves before you. Your anger and frustration is just an exercise in futility. Your frustration is seen by them as a negative reaction and will only cause the narcissist to see you as the weak one. This will never solve anything. Your anger absolves them of any admission as they see your reaction as being the problem. So if you are frustrated, take that to somebody who will listen. Take that in private and do what you need to do to vent your anger and frustration out, but don't let the narcissist see it because it's only going to end up hurting you in the end. The best defense is the best offense. Know who you're dealing with and do not take what the narcissist says or does personally against you, even if they meant it that way. And chances are sometimes they do. Remain in control of your emotions and disengage yourself from the conversation. You have that right. Remind yourself that the individual is internally vulnerable, regardless of their rigid exterior. They are only being themselves. They cannot be any other way. Some vulnerable narcissists will not apologize. They will, however, after the conflict is settled, maybe a few hours to a few days, and your tempers between the two of you are subdued, they may try to appease you and mend broken fences between you by being extra kind and giving, clinging and needy. This attempt at righting the wrong isn't really righting the wrong in a genuine way. It's manipulative. It certainly is not an omission of guilt. It is to help you feel better, but again, not for you, for the narcissist. When you are no longer agitated, then the narcissist is off the hook. The slate is wiped clean. With an altered mood from you, they are pretty much guaranteed to know that you will not bring up the incident and they can carry on as if nothing happened. By manipulating and by manipulating and managing your mood, they can maintain and stay in control of their mood. They control, they control you to control themselves, as they are all about control. That's all this is. Understand that you cannot change anyone. All you can do is change yourself. And in the case of dealing with a narcissist, an unapologetic narcissist, it's just best to accept the facts that they are who they are. They are incapable of apologizing as they are incapable of change. If you can remember this, then you can better protect your heart. It is true that we can all stand to humble ourselves and be the bigger person to apologize when we knowingly hurt someone's feelings or infringed on their well-being in some way. When we don't, we do regret it and end up righting the wrong later on. However, there are those who refuse to take the emotional high road and see the landscape of heartache from the perspective of empathy. This is because the narcissist cannot empathize with you. This is because the narcissist cannot empathize with you and they cannot look within to feel remorse and shame in order to offer that apology. For this reason, looking for an apology from a narcissist is, uh, say with me please, an exercise in futility. The most you can do is see them for who they are and move on. Do not sweat it and just know that there are more meaningful things you can invest your emotional power into. Don't waste your time. The narcissist's ego is too weak and fragile to give to you as that, for them, would not be self-serving. It doesn't need to get any more complicated than this, my friends. 
I hope this simplistic view will help you overcome the battles that you have encountered with the unapologetic narcissist. Understanding who they are allows you the freedom to maneuver yourself around them that allows you to remain in your spiritual integrity and truth. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. That would help me a lot greatly. And thank you for watching. Blessings to you.